Okay, now let's move on to this particular question. The draft financial statement of AG PLC for the year to 31st December 2019 are being prepared and the accountant has requested your advice on dealing with the following issues. AG PLC owns a retail business which has suffered badly during the recession. So there is a retail business uh, unit which has suffered badly during the recession. AG PLC treats this business as a separate cash generating unit okay so they treat this uh, what you call the retail business unit as a separate cash generating units on 31st December 2019 the carrying amount so you are given the carrying amounts of the assets comprising the retail business are uh, you are given a set of assets the building 900 million plant and equipment 300 million inventory 70 million other current assets 130 million goodwill 40 million an impairment review so an impairment review was done has been carried out as of 31st december 2019 and the recoverable amount the recoverable amount of the cash generating unit calculated to include all assets listed above is estimated at 1.3 million so what is required calculate the Carrying, am carrying amount of the assets of the retail business after accounting for the results of the impairment review. Okay, now you are given the uh, the carrying amount of the cash generating units and also you are given the recoverable amount. So you need to identify the impairment uh, loss. Okay, so if you take the impairment loss, you need to compare the carrying value and the recoverable amount the carrying value of these assets how much if you take the total uh, that will be that will be 1440 whereas estimated recoverable amount is 1 million 300 so therefore if you take the difference the difference will be 140 so this is the impairment loss this is the impairment loss this impairment loss has to be allocated amongst these assets okay now uh, first and foremost before we go on to uh, allocating these uh, impairment loss uh, let's identify the meaning of the cash generating units so cash generating unit means these are the units uh, which has the smallest identifiable group of assets okay so let's say you have a group of assets group of assets from these assets you can identify uh, you can identify certain assets separately those assets will generate cash flows okay those units will generate cash flows so it may be <coughs> these uh, cash generating units may be uh, departmental can be uh, departmental or separate product lines or a factory okay so for which the output of product and the input of raw materials labor and overheads uh, can be identified you can identify separately for example if you take if you take a school okay if you take a school uh, the bookstore will be bookstore will be a separate cash generating units okay so so these uh, the the cash generating units assets uh, the impairment review should be carried out for these uh, cash generating units now uh, as per this uh, calculate uh, the question as per this question you are given the carrying value and the recoverable amount so once you identify the impairment loss this impairment loss uh, should be allocated to reduce the carrying amount of the assets so once you identify the impairment loss 
the impairment loss should be allocated to, to reduce the, uh, the carrying amount of the assets based on particular uh, order. Okay, what is the order? So we need to reduce the carrying amount of any goodwill allocated to the cash generating units, which means the first priority is to allocate the impairment loss to the goodwill. Then the remaining uh, impairment loss should be allocated uh, to the non-current assets based on the carrying value of the non-current assets value. Okay, so now if you take the total carrying value, uh, the total carrying value is uh, 1,440,000. Then uh, if you take the recoverable amount, recoverable amount is 1,300,000. So they are for 140. From this 140, if you deduct the goodwill, okay, 40, the remaining 100 should be allocated the based on the carrying value of these two non-current assets. So if you take the the total, it's 1.2 million. Okay, so 900 divided by 1.2 million. This is 300 divided by 1.2 million. This is the ratio. Okay, so once you take this ratio, uh, that will be <coughs> so this will be 75 percent, and this will be 25. Okay, so this hundred should be allocated seventy five percent to buildings and twenty five percent to plant and equipment. So which means seventy five uh, million and twenty five million. Okay, so when you take the total after the impairment uh, loss allocation, so that will be. Uh, from this 900 million, okay, so 900 million minus 75, that's going to be 825. Then plant and equipment 300 minus 25, that's going to be 275. Inventory, the value will be the same, and other current assets will be 130. Goodwill, we have eliminated the impairment. So therefore, your total value should be 1,300,000. Okay, so this is how you allocate uh, the impairment loss for the cash generating units.